All right, everybody, welcome to week eight. How does everybody feel? Give me a thumbs up. Just good, everyone good. Anybody have any questions to start? All right, cool, I'm gonna rock and roll then. So week eight, week eight is, the topic is uh, creation of a healthy lifestyle and sustainability. Okay, so we've made it two full months, eight full weeks. And the goal now is for you to take everything you've learned so far and apply that to a healthy lifestyle and, and continuing this moving forward and just adapting the little things that you've learned and creating this forever. Okay. So the week one, we went over like intention and goal setting week two, we went over like the introduction to nutrition and understanding proteins, carbs, fats, and all those things. Week three, we went over supplementing, understanding that we're going to supplement the things that we're not getting from our daily nutrition, our daily diet. Week four, we went over snackings and cravings. So where to fill the gaps, um, what to do when you're craving different things. Week five, we went over mindset, daily habits. Week six, we went over overall motivation. Week seven, we went over roadblocks. And now week eight, we're taking all of those other things and creating a healthy lifestyle that you can do forever. Okay, those are seven topics that are developmental foundational steps to creating a healthy lifestyle. So how does this work? Okay, the first thing that I like to do when, I, when I'm teaching about a healthy lifestyle is making sure that you understand life is a roller coaster. There will not always be ups. There will not always be downs, okay? But it will take the ups and it will take the downs for you to get to where you want to be. You, when, when you do this forever, like I, I've, I've been doing this now for 12 years, you'll understand that your life goes through phases. You're gonna have busy phases. You're gonna have slow phases. You're gonna have quick fat loss phases. You're going to have phases in life where you're more motivated than others. You might wake up one day and be like, holy shit, I'm ready. Like now today is my day. Like this is my turning point. And, and that just happens randomly. It's, it's going to be very dependent on the outside factors and internal factors that you have going on. How's your mindset? How's your life? How's your family? How's school? How's sleep? How's water? How's your workouts? How's... There's so many factors that go into this. And sometimes you just wake up feeling a little bit better than others. And that's okay. So when we're creating a lifestyle, when we talk about forever, for the rest of your life, you might be thinking 30, 40, 50, 60 years you have light left to live out this healthy lifestyle, you're gonna have bad days. You're gonna have bad weeks. You're gonna have bad months. And that's okay. All right, so, so this calls more about understanding and being okay with and wrapping your hands around being okay with the ups and downs. Okay, that's, that's what averages out. So when we talk about nutrition, let's talk about that, okay? So when we're trying to lose weight, we wanna be in a deficit. So that means we wanna be burning more than we're consuming. So if you're in a deficit, 500 calories, day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, and your weekend comes around and you're through the roof, you know, let's say a thousand calories each day. If you do a weekly average, you're still in a deficit, 500 calories for the week. Is that ideal? No. Are you still in a deficit in total? Yeah. I mean, this is very complex. It is more about keeping your mindset in a positive place than it is anything else. Making sure that every single day you do one thing for you. Does it have to be fitness or nutrition related? Absolutely not. Does it have to make you feel good about yourself? Absolutely. I'll give you a prime example. Yes, I, <clears throat> my life right now is very busy. I'm waking up, I'm coaching, I'm coming home, I'm eating, I'm going back to the gym, I'm coaching, I'm staying out late, I'm coaching sports, I'm running my kids around. Like, this is the phase of my life right now. We just have a busy season. We have lots going on. Am I doing much for myself? Not really. 
am I taking time to sit down and enjoy a moment with my family? I am. And that's kind of my win right now. Yesterday I took off, I washed my car. Like it is something that makes me feel good to complete a task. I feel like I'm very accomplished based. I'm accomplished minded. It makes me feel good about myself when I complete tasks. Okay, over the years, I've learned that. I've learned that through therapy. I go to one-on-one -on -one therapy. I go to group therapy. I, I, I understand myself. I understand myself in social settings. It's taken me a while to get here, but I know that I am accomplished driven. If I can accomplish one task, that is something that is good for me mentally and physically. It could be anything. It doesn't have to be about my fitness. It doesn't have to be about my nutrition, but it has to be about me. Okay, when we're doing something about you, you're creating a healthy lifestyle. Yes, eating good food is good for you. It will make you feel better. Yes, working out, moving your body is good for you. It will make you feel better. It will give you more motivation. All of these things are like if you had a, you had like an electric board, okay? And every time you plug something in, there was more power and more power and more power. If you're eating well, you might as well plug that in. If you're exercising, you might as well plug that in. If you're doing something for yourself, plug it in. If you're doing something for somebody else, all right, if you're giving, if you're in this feeling of giving, like, you know, you're in a drive-thru and you buy the person's food behind you or some, whenever you're, you're giving back, you can plug that in. Those are all different things that you can plug into your energy board. And by the end of the day, you're pumped up and you know you feel good about yourself when you're doing these things for you and for others. That is a creation of a healthy lifestyle. These are things you can do every day. It doesn't have to be every day, all the time, all these things, but it has to be something that you're plugging into your board every day. I know that we've all had down days. All right, I've had them, you've had them. You know what it feels like to wake up feeling like crap and go to bed still feeling like crap. There's a lot of viruses going on right now. There's a lot of crap going around. There's a lot of stress going around. There's just a lot going around. All right, whether that's negative energy, sickness, negative thought, whatever it is, it's going around. So we need to figure out how to keep ourselves in a positive mindset. One thing for yourself, and if you have questions, reach out because you should have support groups and like-minded people surrounding you, which you all do. You all, you're all part of our fitness family. Whether you actively come to the gym or you're just popping in and out of our Facebook group or you're popping in and out of these challenges and calls, you are forever part of our fitness family and somebody that we care about and care about helping you get to your end goal. Your end goal, which most of you have, is to just feel better about yourself and live a healthier lifestyle. Some of you, it's to lose weight. Some of you, it's to gain strength. Some of you, it's to maintain where you're at. Some of you, it's to fix your mindset. Some of you, this is therapy for you, okay? All of, all of this together is us helping you get to where you want to be, okay? So no matter what, which one of those goals you might be on, we're all on the same road, all right? You might be veering a little left. I might be going straight. You might be going right. We're all on the same road. There's multiple lanes on a, on a highway, right? We might be on the same highway in a different lane. We're all in a different car. Your body's your car. We're all in a different car. We're all going to the same place. You guys ever type something in your GPS? It gives you multiple routes to get there. All right, this is this is the most important thing I want you to understand about making a cre making and creating and sustaining a healthy lifestyle. No matter where you are, you plug into your GPS, it'll tell you where you're standing, right? It'll be like, you're right here, you're right here, right? It always tells you where you're at. Then you type in where you wanna go. No matter if that changes, Whatever it is, when you, when you type in where you want to go, it gives you an endpoint. It usually gives you a road with tools, takes you the fastest way there, straight through, but you got to pay the price. The other two routes, usually you don't have to pay. One's a little bit faster than the other. One's a little bit longer of a route, but it's more scenic. Okay, this is very, like, this is what I like to compare to a healthy lifestyle. Here's where you are. Here's where you want to go. You have multiple options to get there. How fast do you want to get there? What price do you want to pay? And or and or do you want to see the see like smell smell the flowers and see the scenes while you're there you pick the route and if you get so far and you decide you want to change your route you can always replug in where you're going from where you currently are you've already gone so far you can plug that in now do you want to pay the price and get there a little bit faster do you want to continue on the slow route keep seeing all the scenes go all the back roads 
go a really slow speed limit, but still get to where you want to go. Okay, or you want to go the medium route where you're like still exercising every day. You're not tracking everything you eat, but you're being mindful. You're getting good sleep. You might need to improve on your water intake. Like there are multiple ways to do this. It's about what fits you in the phase of life that you're currently in. Right? So I, I wish that I could give you a blueprint to exactly how to get to where you want to be and do it with no hiccups. That is, it doesn't exist. It doesn't exist because it could exist, but I cannot control. I cannot control what goes on in your, in your life. I wish I could. I wish I could protect you from all the crazy things, but I can't. Okay. There's a lot that goes on. I, I can't protect you from all the things that's put into your food. I can't protect you from what you put in your mouth. <laughs> that is all on you. I'm here to guide you. I am here to help you. I'm here to answer all your questions and give you the best advice I possibly can. Yet realistic advice, because I'm a realist, I like to keep it real. I'm never going to lie to you. I will absolutely tell you that is messed up, but it will work slower, but it is messed up, right? I will always tell you the truth, but I will help you get to where you want to be. Life is ups and downs. Life is a roller coaster. So here's what I got to say to you, okay? This is how you create a healthy lifestyle, a healthy, sustainable lifestyle. Everything you learned in this challenge that is now in your toolbox. Okay, you keep your toolbox with you everywhere you go. If you need something, you refer to your toolbox. My goal is to give you all the tools you may need. Whenever you come up to a problem, you can solve that problem with all the tools in your toolbox. If you cannot solve that with what is in your toolbox, we are always here. Even if you do have the right tools, you just need the instructions, we are here for you. Okay, never give up, keep trying. If it doesn't work the first time, take a different route or maybe plug in a different goal, okay? Take your goals, take your big, big, big goals that you have. Some of you, I've, I've heard, I wanna lose 100 pounds, I wanna lose 50 pounds, cut it in half, okay? Cut it in half, cut it in half again. Once you reach that quarter goal, go to the next step. Once you reach that halfway goal, go to the next step, okay? If you're reaching too high, you're going to keep your mindset in this mode of, I'm never going to get there. I'm never going to get there. I'm never going to get there. But you will. But you have to do it in smaller chunks. And as you as you reach each smaller chunk, you're telling yourself, I believe in myself. I can do this. I've done it. I've done it before. I'm on to the next step. I'm on to the next step. All these positive affirmations, all these positive things that you're doing, create those building steps for you to get to where you want to go. You can't jump from here to the top of Mount Everest. But you can get there a day at a time. You can climb a day at a time, right? You see them with their tents, hiking out, sleeping, eating, getting warm, resetting, going the next day. Sleeping, resetting, getting warm, go, right? So you stop, you reset, you regroup, you go. You stop, you reset, you group, you go, right? It is. This is very comparable to any challenging thing you'll do in life. One chunk at a time, understanding that this will have its downs. This will have its ups. When you gain a bunch of weight, when you lose a bunch of weight, when you feel like you're great and you can do anything, when you feel like crap, it's part of it. This is part of it. The goal is that you sustain these ups and downs forever, right? And as you go up and down and go up and down, your downs become a little bit more downs and your ups become a little bit more up. You have bigger wins, you have harder times that create bigger wins and it just cycles, cycles, cycles. And eventually you'll get to the point where you're like, I've been here before and I know what to do to get out of this. Or I've been here before and now I want to try to stay here longer than I was before. Right? So that's the goal here. This is how we create a healthy lifestyle. This is how we sustain a healthy lifestyle. Anytime you get in a rut, just get back on. The longer you're off, the harder it's going to be for you to get back on. The longer you take these binges and you decide, you know what, I'm going to roll with it, the harder it is to get back on. And I'll tell you from personal experience, like right now, I've I've been running for sports, this, that. I've eaten out more than I think I ever have in the past few years. I've I, We've barely cooked at home. I've been enjoying a nice few beers at night. Like I am, I'm in a phase that I know will be ending by the end, mid to end of March. But I already have my plan for April. 
I already know what I'm going to do in April. So I'm not stressing about it because I know where I'm at. And there's honestly just nothing I can do about it. I could get up earlier, but then I'm at the gym at three. So now I'm sacrificing my sleep and my recovery for my workout, which is not something I'm willing to do because I can get five to 10 minutes of push-ups and sit-ups and core and, and squats at home. I could still go outside and play with my kids. I'm still reaching 10,000 steps a day. I'm never sacrificing the amount of steps I'm taking. I might just be sacrificing the intention intensity of my workout, but I'm still recovering. I'm still sleeping. I'm still making sure I'm drinking my water. I'm making the healthiest of choices I can with my food because I know at this time I'm stressed out and I like to enjoy a few beers and that's just where I am. Okay. But that's going to change and that's going to change here real soon. So now all I need to do is make sure, sorry, my dog came to visit. All I need to do is ensure that I am ready for the next month. I'm ready for the next thing my body's going to go through and I'm ready for the next phase that I'm going to live. And the next phase is for me. Do I know how long it's going to last? No, I do not. Four to six weeks, I could guess, right? So I'm going to take these four to six weeks and I'm going to make a difference. And then based on the next sports season we have, I'll figure out how long I think that's going to last. And then I'm going to ride my roller coaster. And then I'm going to get back on. And then I'm going to get back off. And I'm going to get back on. That is life. Welcome to it. If you have kids, you know this roller coaster. If you don't have kids, great for you. No, I'm just kidding. You have your own challenges that you face. I am not, I, I'm not against that because when I didn't have kids, I still rode the roller coaster. You just have different things you do. When I didn't have kids, I just worked 16 to 18 hours a day. You find a way to fill your time. You will find a way to be busy. You will find a way to push off your fitness. It's just about creating the times and the phases that you know you're on or you're off. And if you're off, how to be smart when you're off. You're not just totally blowing it. You're not going through the drive-through breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You're not eating uh, multiple family-sized candy bars. Like, do what you do. Don't stress. My famous line, don't eat like an asshole. Just be mindful. I mean, it is that simple. Keep your steps. Drink your water. Do Whatever you do, don't sacrifice your recovery. Your body needs to recover. You have to sleep. I don't sleep very much right now, but I'm not cutting into my sleep to make time for anything else. Your body needs that time to recover. It has to reset or you're just going to get sick. And if you do catch yourself there, well, then you're going to be sleeping for multiple days because that's what your body needed in the first place, right? So it catches up with you, right? It's this endless roller coaster that I keep talking about. It, that it, it is what it is, all right? So we're going to make this what it is. We're going to make sure that we enjoy the process while we're on it. We're going to make sure we're making the best choices at the possible time in the phase of our life that we're in. We're going to make sure we have a plan because if you fail to plan, you're already planning to fail. We're making a plan for our next phase. We're making our plan for what, what you got going on that day. You never want to find yourself in a situation like, what should I do now? Or what should I eat now? Right? We want to we want to try to have a plan. Even if it's like a half-assed plan, at least you have ideas. You're going to make better decisions with some sort of even if it's half-assed, like I'm saying, if you have a, if you have a kind of plan, it's going to be better than no plan. At least you have options to pick from. Anybody have questions? I know I kind of went on a rant, but I I try to be as clear as possible because this is your this is a commitment to you forever. It's absolutely easier to not care at all about what you do. It's absolutely easier to let yourself go. The world is set up for us to be unhealthy. The world is set up so we don't live long lives. It just is. And I don't, I don't like that, but it is what it is. You're probably, your house is probably in radius of at least a handful, if not a dozen fast food restaurants right? How many grocery stores? One, maybe two. How many grocery stores that their stuff lasts? None, maybe one, right? So we're set up. You have to, you have to make a commitment. You have to drive somewhere. You have to plan to go to a farmer's market or plan to find some good food that's going to last. It's absolutely easier not to do that. So you're committing yourself to this healthy lifestyle, 
to do the best that you can to make the best decisions in whatever situation that you're in and going from there. I will never be the coach that says, don't ever go through the drive-thru. But I will say, if you do go through the drive-thru, do not pick what you want. Pick what you need or pick what you want and make modifications. You do not need a double bacon cheeseburger with all the stuff and extra fries on the side. You do not need that. Okay, but you can get a double bacon cheeseburger with no bun, extra lettuce, and eat it like a salad. Okay, make changes that are positive to your lifestyle. Don't get fries, get fruit. Don't get pop, get water. All right, it's, it's about making the best decision, whatever the situation. That's how you feel good about yourself. That's how you sustain this healthy lifestyle. Don't tell yourself no. Tell yourself yes. How can I make this just a little bit healthier? How can I make this just a little bit better? Do I go light sauce? Do I go just water? Do I make this change? Do I add protein? Do I? These are the questions I want you thinking in your head. I really want a plate full of pasta. How can I have that and make it just a little bit better? Okay, these are the questions that are gonna go through your head. These are the things that you're gonna do. And then as you become you know, more experienced, it just becomes second nature to think about it. Until then, you have us. Does anybody have any questions? I hope I covered it. Laura, I can't hear you, but you can always put it in the chat if you do have a question. Melissa, any questions? Neil? Cool, quiet, beautiful day. All right, well, like I said, it is a beautiful day out here, so if you have some extra time, five, ten minutes, get outside, get a nice walk in, and uh, congratulations, you are in the last week. Don't forget, we will have t-shirts for you. Uh, they should be in this week. If they're not, they should be in really early next week. We've had trouble with t-shirt companies for the last, I don't know, two years since COVID, but it's really frustrating. Anyway, hopefully your t-shirts are in this week. Um, and we'll get them out to you as soon as they come in. And congratulations. Good luck. And I look forward to seeing how this goes for you guys. Thank you. You're so welcome.